hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss about how to activate some things inside the settings from code so currently i am logged into the oracle database and if i go to sales and if i go to configuration and then to the settings you can see you have got different options here like variant options unit of measures product packaging deliver content by mail etc and you have got different options there might be some case where you need to activate these options from the code suppose if you are developing a module which extends the functionality of the product variants like product variants then once you install the module in the database you might need to activate this feature from the code itself that that like if you when you're installing the module you need this feature has to be get enabled inside the database so let's see how we can activate or how we can activate a things inside settings from the code so this will be done inside the xml part so i'll go to our module that is om hospital so yet if you haven't subscribed our channel you can please subscribe to channel and just press the bell icon for getting notification regarding the upcoming videos so we will continue the development so for that purpose i will go to the pycharm and here i have got uh, our module so i'll just close all the files close all and the custom and our module is om hospital you can see it here and inside the data file i have just created a template here that is inside i have just copied some functions from the code and paste it here so what we are going to do is here what here we what we are going to do is that so this is the one two three four five six seven eight lines of the code which i have pasted it here already so if i go to here i have already activated the develop mode so i will go to the settings again that is sales settings and i'll just click on edit view form i need to get the field name of variants and options so if i place the mouse over it you can see the field name is group underscore product variant that is technical name of the field is group underscore product variant with object the object is rust.config.settings so what i have done is here in the code is the model is specified rust.config.settings that i have seen here once i place the mouse over it you can see the object is rust.config.settings so that's done and i just give an id you can give id as per your like but once you give the id uh, just make sure that you are giving an id which close to the subject so just I have given here ideas as config settings itself. Then inside that record, you have to give the field name. So once you place the mouse here, you can see the field name of the variants and option is group underscore product variant. So inside the field name, I have specified the name of the field that is group underscore product variant and eval equal to one because I have to get it as true. So I just give eval equal to one. So that's the two lines three lines of the code that you have to add that is you have to specify the model name that is rust config settings and id is given as rust config settings you can give id as per your like but the model name has to be given correctly then inside the field field name you have to specify the name of the field which you want to get the value activate the value so that's a boolean field so i have given us eval equal to one so that it will be set to true so that's done and then we have to write a function to trigger this so function model name has to be specified the model name is rest config settings itself name is given as execute so it will get executed and value eval rest config settings you have to give the id of this record to get this implemented value eval you have to specify this function eval empty that's done so let's see what happens if we upgrade the module so i'll just restart the service so there is no need to restart the service as we haven't made any changes inside the python so let's see uh, you can see right now so if i take the settings again you can see right now the variance and options is not enabled in the database so let's see what happens if we upgrade our module so i'll go to the apps menu and from here we have got our hospital management module i will just click on upgrade button so once after the module is upgraded when you go to the sales settings you will see that variance and options will get enabled inside the database so the upgradation is completed now we will go to the settings sorry sales and in the way you can see you are getting the product variance itself that means it has been already get enabled so if i go to settings you can see it has been get enabled so that's all about how you can activate or how you can activate settings from the code now let's see if we need to uninstall this feature that is by default if you think that by default if the variants and options are enabled in the database 
now let's see how you can deactivate that feature so here inside the eval we have given us one so let's change it to zero okay that's done i have changed it to zero and let's upgrade the module and see what happens so i'll go to the apps menu again and i'll just upgrade the module so on the first process we have activated the features product variants from the code itself now we are going to deactivate the feature that is we are going to reverse process that is if a feature is already activated i need to make it deactivate so let's see what happens i will go to sales and I'll click on product you can not see product variants here and if I go to settings it will be unticked so you can see it has been get disabled now if I change into eval equal to 1 control Z okay eval equal to 1 is given and if I upgrade the module from the apps I'll just upgrade the module for upgrading the module you don't need to go to apps all the all the time you can just do it from the command line we have already contributed a video of how to upgrade the module from the terminal itself and you can save little time so you can go for that if you haven't watched that yet so i'll go to sales configuration settings it will be enabled right now so that's all about this video of how to enable settings from the code so if you like our videos don't forget to like the videos and please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for notification and hope you will suggest the channel to your friends who starting the development. Thank you.